All right, let's try this again. Open it. It's stuck. All right, we're going to have to kick it. Oh, my sweet Moses. Do you guys see what we just did? I kicked the door open. And, hey, it's a rattling thief. Now, wait a minute. These are rattlings. We're about to find out if I can talk to a rattling or not. I'm going to bring him up here. Now, are you, you're a kobold, so you can't... I can't talk to you, but you are a rattling. Can I speak with you? Now nah, they just squeak in anger. I mean, maybe... Maybe, like, rattlings in the wild? Look how much smaller it is than me. Maybe the player character rattling is like a... I don't want to use the word civilized, but it's just a different type of rattling that is used to living in humanoid cities and can speak with them? I, I don't know. Oh, it robbed me. It took my money. How dare you? Give me my money back. Ooh, we improved the skill in clubs and hammers to level four. I'll take it. He took so much of my money. Maybe, Rob. Maybe I am an outcast. They're like, hey, you should be in here robbing adventurers, not being an adventurer yourself. You spit... Ooh. Uncursed rattling thief corpse. Now, why would it be cyan like that? Like, does that mean... I don't know what you can do with corpses in this game, by the way. Is it just butchering for food? Or is there something else altogether? Oh my god, what is this guy sneaking up on me? A were-rat? Oh, I'm gonna have to step back. Oh, rare-rat's rare rat's gone. Let's just take him down with the bow and arrow, then. If you guys want to fight... Oh, I'm, I used all my arrows. Oh no, I'm out of arrows. I'm gonna have to identify these arrows that I've got, then. Ooh, what is this dog? It's a blink dog. Uh-oh, blink dogs are... Historically difficult. That, that one was not difficult. Boom! Level 8. Well, at the very least, we're getting a lot of experience, which I am thrilled about. Yes! Alright. So, we're going to go back and we're going to boost up some of our skills. We can't boost up first aid right now, but we can get better at uh, detecting traps, and we can get better at uh, I don't know. Detecting traps. And then we can get better at... We'll just be really good at detecting traps. Alright, we did it. And we got some hit points. The cool thing, too, if you notice, when you level up, you... You get hit points to full. It's great. Not every game does that, but it's always a beautiful blessing when they do. I'm going to have to figure out how to use... Do you want to add the bundle of two arrows to your missile slot? Yes, please. Thank you. I bet that takes a turn doing that, but I don't care. I want some arrows. Man, look at how many ratlings were in here. This is hysterical. I can't talk to any of them. And being a ratling, it does feel... Unfortunate. My alignment is apparently... Neutral. Oh... I can pray to Sass, the god of neutrality. Now, this is... I've never done this. I don't know anything about the theology in this game, the systems of deity, the religion. But if Sass... I mean, I think somebody said Sass to me, maybe the goblin, the neutral goblin from before, and I didn't understand that. And I also didn't really understand that I was neutral. I thought I was good, but maybe my actions have changed my alignment. I don't know. I'm still sticking with normal. Uh, normal combat stance, by the way. And I'm fine with it. Take that, take that. Oh, oh, no, it's my buddy. It's my buddy, the clay statue behind me. All right. I do have some arrows that I could use. Oh, there's still more. This is 
an outrageous amount of enemies. It's like a kobold rattling generator in here. I think that might be it. What do you got? Bit of candy? Take that candy. Yeah, add it to the missile slot. What you got? We got it. the Carpe Diem scroll. That's good enough. And then... Okay. <laughs> I kind of figured that was going to happen. How did I know this was going to happen? I cleared out... What I am guessing was like everything in that room. And there's nothing. I'm searching. I don't find... I'm just not finding anything. So, let's look at our inventory. Alright, so... In terms of our quiver, what do we have? I could use... Just regular arrows. I don't know why they're all different. Like, why they're not sorted. Maybe because they're not identified? I don't know. Let's search around. Ooh, what is this bird? Hey, hey, Phil, what is up, my friend? Good to see you. Good evening. How you doing? I'm going to shoot this thing. It's a corpse fiend. God, that's a weird name. It looks like a buzzard, which I guess you could call a corpse fiend. Uh, well, now we don't need any of that. Yes, please. All right, so let me look at my inventory at my missiles, and then let's go with, we're identifying some of these, so I'm gonna actually just keep identifying so I can stack all of these. What are you? You're a ghoul, but without the O, you're a ghoul. You're dead. What you are is dead. Oh, cool, Phil. We just finished the uh, fifth episode of Obi-Wan the other day, so we're caught up when waiting for the final one. This viper is tough. Or just tough to hit, anyway. Oh, I'm hungry. Okay, so let's eat something. I guess I'm gonna eat... I don't know, this cake? Wow, lots of sweet stuff. That's right. Oh, nice, Phil. Cool. Ooh. Are you friendly? It's an ogre. Yeah, he doesn't care. Can we talk? Hunger. Oh, can I... I can... I think I can give him something. I want to give him some food. I want to give this guy, like, some candy. He ignored it. I'll tell you what, Phil. I like the first two episodes a good bit. And I'm just... I'm waiting to see how they tie everything together by the time it's finished. I love Star Wars, and I really enjoy, um, you know, what we're getting to see in some respects. But I need to see the full story before I make my final judgment. What about you, my friend? I like Inquisitors. like Darth Vader. I mean, seeing him, I don't like him. We don't get along very well. It's definitely not as good as The Mandalorian. In my opinion. Okay. So, I can go down. This is where I can go. So, let's do it. Separate groups of otherwise similar items denote different blessed, cursed, uncursed status. Even if you've yet to identify them, your character is still somewhat aware of the difference. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Um... I don't know. I'll put a triangular key in as my tool for no reason. Oh, this ogre followed me down. A melon. 
Hey, let's pick up the melon, and then let's try to give the melon to this dude. I, I don't know why, I just want to give this ogre some food. He ignored it. He's like, I don't want that. All right, whatever. Open it. Oh, it's a... Uh, is this me? It's a female doppelganger. Yeah, they keep having these doppelgangers. God, what a weird... I mean, can you imagine psychologically just seeing the doppelganger of yourself? It's like when Mystique in X-Men 2 becomes the the garbage man, you know, and you just you're he's looking at himself and it's just like Oh man, this is I'm having a weird night here. They don't pay me enough for this. Alright, we're fighting a bunch of hobgoblins. Can I talk to you? Now nah, they grunt in anger. So when their hit point bar is red, that just means they're outright hostile. Oh wait, this guy's big. Yeah, Phil, it's never good. You're like, oh, no. This is the... Oh, it's a troll. Okay. So it's just... That's why it's more dangerous looking. Okay, it's gone now. No, that's why... Yeah, Phil, when you see that doppelganger, it's like, you know, am I dead already? Take this. Man, this is fun. I mean, this is just like a room full of people running out the door in single file to the execution system that I've got set up. It's it's pretty fantastic. Bam. Uh, there's a heavy cudgel and... Oh, let me check the heavy cudgel, actually. Cool. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat that melon. Delicious. You know melon is delicious. All right, I'm going to look at this heavy cudgel. So I'm currently using a large hammer, right? But what if I tried to switch to the heavy cudgel? It is minus one to hit. And instead of it doing a dice 10 damage, it does, it does two dice five plus two. So let me look at my, my overall now is two dice five plus 10. So... It's very similar, except um, at plus 16 to hit, 2 dice 5 plus 10, but it hurts my uh, defense value. But if I were to go back in, I know, Phil. I mean, that's what it, 100%, right? Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to actually go back to using my other weapon, which is my hammer, because uh, if you look, I have higher pr protection value, and then um, I'm actually plus 18 to hit. The only difference is that I can do one. I can roll a one, but with the other one, it's two dice five, so I can roll a two minimum. But that just does not outweigh everything else about this. All right, we're going to go ahead and auto. Who what are these? Broad bracers. Cool. All right, this knoll is coming at us. It looks angry. It's gone. Ooh, chain mail. Baller. Let me see this chain mail. I love getting uh, armor. Love it, love it, love it. Especially, you know, potentially some very, very strong armor like this. Don't know what it does, but I am I really want to see it. All right, let's see. So we're going to go here. I'm wearing studded leather, right? So let's check it out. If I were to not wear studded leather and instead... You know what's funny is, I'm wearing no armor now, and my defense value is actually still 16, um, because it's it's hard for me to get my head around how armor works in this game, but armor, at least the heavier armor, seems more about protection value than defense value, right? Because defense value is almost like your dodge. 
but protection value is your mitigation. So anyway, I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to put this on. I'm going to try Chainmail and see what it does. So Chainmail says, I'm going to give you minus one to hit in melee, minus three to hit in range, minus three protection value, but plus five in protection. I'm sorry, defense value is the minus. So instead of having a 16 defense value and a six with the studded leather, I now have a 13 and an eight, and I'm a little bit less to hit, but I like uh, just protection value is guaranteed when you get hit. So I kind of like that. Now I'm burdened, so I'm gonna have to drop some stuff. So I'm gonna drop, obviously, the heavy cudgel, and we'll drop that. And hopefully we're not burdened anymore. Okay. Now, another thing I don't know enough about the game is... it. For example, in Dungeon Crawl... I would be blind reading scrolls more often. But I don't know how bad the swings are in this. I'm much more ready to blind read scrolls in Dungeon Crawl now. But, you know, maybe eight years ago... I would be less likely because there could be some more painful scrolls if you read them but they've taken a lot of the really really bad curse scrolls out anyway i'm gonna go back here i'm gonna do that i'm just gonna get try to get myself ahead a little bit and i'm going to uh read the carpe diem and i don't i didn't decipher it i'm gonna try to read this scroll here i didn't do it and this one I didn't do it. So another interesting thing about this game is uh, in Dungeon Crawl, like you read it and you automatically understand it once you try to read it once, but then you suffer the blowback of whatever the effect of the scroll is. But this game is like there's a whole skill for reading scrolls, and I think my character might just be, not be smart enough to read these. What's the tome? I, I ain't got the tome. Okay, so I got to get better at reading. Let's go this way. And let's look around. Oh, this is an owlbear, huh? Heck yeah. Again, I just love... I really like this game. And I really love when I can see a sprite of an enemy. And I just instantly recognize what it is. I'm like, that's an owlbear. And it's like, boom. Yep, that's an owlbear. Sweet. I mean, that was an owlbear. It's... Oh, and interesting, look at this. In the bottom left, you can see the log, and it says you have a fair feeling about the broad bracers. So, it seems like in this game, over time, your character is like making rolls every certain amount of time, perhaps, to identify items in your pack. And over time, my character has developed a feeling about the broad bracers, and I think that that feeling is whether or not it's blessed or cursed, but I could be wrong. Again, we're fighting a doppelganger of ourselves, which is terrifying, and oh my god, look. Yes, thank you, the dev. Actually, NetHack is the, the name of the game I was thinking of earlier where you could plant and grow things. Thank you, NetHack, yeah. I don't know, have any experience with NetHack. One day I will boot that up, though, but I, I've never played it. And so, thank you for... So I will try to blind read stuff then. It's much safer. Here's the carpenter, everybody. We finally found this dude. Wait, wait, carpenter. Oh, he's mad. He's crazy. Oh, no. I can't talk to him. What happened here? The orc chieftain is hostile. No, I don't want to fight you, carpenter. Don't do this, carpenter. You used to be beautiful. Oh my god. The town... Look at this, everybody. I have a quest to to find this guy and explain the whereabouts of this dude. I don't think this is going to go well. I can right-click on him, and... I tried to chat with him. He didn't want to chat. I can kick him. I don't know what that's going to do. What happens if I kick this guy? I missed him. Let me try that again. 
Uh, it just does damage. I thought maybe I could like wake him up out of his insanity. I think the, t the villagers are going to get upset, but I just have to kill this guy. He's actually kind of tough, too. He's hurting me more than anyone else has hurt me. I'm moderately wounded, for God's sake. All right, we're going to turn it on. I'm going to go uh, berserk. What does berserk mean again? I'm berserking, which means plus 13 to hit, plus 6 to damage. Yeah, take that, dude. Get out of here. Holy smokes. Berserk is unreal. Why am I not doing that all the time? Very aggressive. Yeah, I should just be aggressive. I mean, who cares about... Yeah, this is me just not understanding the game. But as I learn this, I'm just thinking out loud here. You can change your battle stance, your your posture, and you can be aggressive, very aggressive, or berserk, for example, right? And in this case, being... The, the minus to that, to the more aggressive you get, is that you lose your, like, dodge value or your defense value. But because I have such a high protection value from wearing heavy armor, dodging is much less incentivized than it would otherwise be because I just mitigate a bunch of damage. So I think I, I should be going more aggressive. <laughs> exactly, Kuro. Now you've got it. I'm sorry YouTube censored you, by the friend, by the way, my friend. But yeah, that's exactly. I tend to be too defensive in games. It's just a, a tendency I have. Here's a huge manual. Let's get that. And uh, I'm going to check my quest really fast and see what it says. I was supposed to find and relieve the village carpenter. Uh, yeah, I relieved him. He went mad. Hopefully we're cool on this. I'm burdened. I got too much stuff. Um, let's drop some things. Honestly, I don't even know what to drop. It. I'm just gonna have to be burdened because I don't. I feel bad like dropping my anvil. It seems like it's really expensive, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not. You know, maybe I just made that up. Oh my! What are you? A margoil? God, that looks like something from where the wild things are. I can't fight you. I'm just a... Uh-oh, don't hit me. He failed to hurt me. That's good. So you can see him... Oh, he hit me for 10 damage. This guy's got to go. I'm going to have to uh, go berserk on this guy and kill him. There we go. Dead. Conversely, I could go, like, full defense value if I'm just trying to run out. And um, very defensive means I have minus 10 to hit and minus 5 damage. But I am I can dodge things much better. I mean, what could I even do to heal myself? I have a... What's this potion do? It healed me. Great. Okay, so I... I used a potion and it healed me. And if I try to read a scroll, I tried to read it. It didn't work. Didn't decipher it. Didn't decipher it. Nope. Oh, this book describes how to build bridges. Do you want to read it now? Yes, I do. You start to peruse the book. You now you now understand the basics of building bridges. So now I can build a bridge. So maybe that's good? I don't know. But the other good thing is now it's not in my backpack anymore. So I don't think I have to carry it. No, I already understand this, right? I mean, do I need to carry this book anymore if I understand it? I don't know. I'll pick it up anyway. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait and just try to heal. Your movements are getting swifter. What does that mean? I'm hungry. All right, we're going to eat the iron ration. Tasted good. And now we're not burdened anymore because we ate the iron ration, which was actually really heavy. Now I can play bridge games, Kuro? Yes, I've always wanted to. All right.
There was a healer who was like positioned higher up in the dungeon, but I didn't see him anymore, and I don't know if I can go find him or not. I don't know if you can search a dungeon for an individual. Anyway, let's see what's here. Studded leather, heavy cover, and that's the stuff I dropped, actually. What's here? This is clothes and a hatchet. see the dev thank you that makes a lot of sense right so you won't get any experience for that because you can't um i see what you mean you can't block if you're berserk so you can't get any shield experience and in coward you aren't getting any weapon skill because you're you've put your weapon away right so i'm in coward right now because you know i'm just trying to rest up We're going to go into uh, normal. And I'm just going to wait, wait. All right. You want to fight? Sure. Gotcha. I'm actually about to level up. Leveling up would be tremendous because what it means is uh, we would heal. And I'd love a heal. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's see what's over here. Let's check this out. Search for traps. I didn't find anything. Open the door. It's stuck. Kick it. What's in here? It's a big death dog. It's a it's a hellhound. Just a your everyday hellhound. Level nine. Boom. Full heal. Coming in. Okay. So everybody don't know anything about this game, but uh, I'm gonna. I'm going to do first aid. What does this do again? Um, help. First aid. Show me. Remind me what first did. Uh, bridge building. I have that. Uh, athletics means it's used to raise your attributes. Oh. Okay. Anyway. Um, climbing gets you out of pits and holes. Cooking, courage. Right, so detect item status. This is tempting. This skill is automatically used to determine the cursed, uncursed, blessed status of items. Okay. Detect traps. We That's what we've been doing, but then disarm traps, we don't know how to do that. Dodge helps your defense value. Now, first aid, this is what I was thinking about. This allows handling bleeding wounds and even might allow you to recover some hit points but only if they were lost very recently okay so that's pretty decent and then the other thing i wanted to check is uh listening helps you perceive and i need literacy okay maybe at literacy is the one that i want anyway um I want to be able to read scrolls, right? So let's go ahead and do... We're actually okay at literacy. Let's bump this up. Can't bump it up anymore. I'm going to bump up first aid, and then I'm going to bump up detect item status a little bit. Continue. Cool, we get to choose a talent. And we can get three power points, which is not that great for us. Three hit points, two speed. Okay. Um, basher, plus one to hit with heavy weapons. Uh, plus one defense value. Um, healthy. Heal wounds 20% faster and heal more effectively. I mean, that sounds really good, honestly. 10% carrying capacity also isn't bad um weapon affinities right honestly i'm gonna do this healing thing because i'm having some issues here and i didn't heal to full when i leveled up that time so maybe that was only just the one time 
that that happened for me. What is this, a troll? It's a hill orc, sergeant. All right, well, we don't have time for a sergeant. Let's look around. Oh, who's this guy? Caveman. Well, it looks like caveman, doesn't it? All right, caveman. My god, he threw a club at me for a ton of damage. Don't do that. Gotcha. Oh, uh... Yeah, use these arrows. Whatever. Switch to those. All right, we gotcha. Club discovered. Picked up some stuff. Gotcha. And big troll. Out of ammunition. Use... I don't know, that arrow. Got it. You exactly hit the troll and kill it right away. Use these arrows, I guess. I need to buy more arrows or make more arrows. Maybe there was a fletching skill. So that would be probably helpful for me. Um, here's... Oh, he turned evil on us, huh? We were, we were friends before, weren't we? Ogre? What happened, dude? We used to be... We used to be close... Copper bracers. Actually, I have some bracers, so let, let me look at my inventory. 